गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स टुडे आई विल टीच यू अवर सेकेंड लेसन फ्रॉम द बुक हॉन बिल द टाइटल ऑफ द लेसन इज वी आर नॉट अफ्रेड टू डाई इफ वी कैन ऑल बी टूगेदर रिटर्न बाय गॉर्डन कुक एंड एलन ईस्ट नाउ बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द समरी ऑफ द लेसन आई विश टू टेल यू समथिंग अबाउट द राइटर्स ऑफ दिस लेसन हे आर टू राइटर्स who jointly write down this lesson Gordon Cook was born in 1978 in Toronto Canada and Ellen East in 1923 in Hampshire although we are not sure about the birth year of the second writer Ellen East but according to book this is the date Gordon Cook is two time Canadian Olympic sailor he is a graduate of the engineering they both jointly write down the voyage story of a young businessman who completed the voyage sea journey bravely with the help of his family members and two crew men now the detailed summary of the lesson the narrator and his wife plan a voyage around the world just like famous captain james cook they have been preparing and perfecting their seafaring skill for the past 16 years they get a ship which is 23 meters long and 30 ton in weight wooden hull constructed of uh, wood or made of wooden named wave walker the name of that ship was wave walker they test it in the roughest weather for months in july 1976 they all start uh, their journey from plymouth england the area of england they sail from africa to cape town which was quite a pleasant journey before heading east the narrator hired took two crew men named larry wizel and hub sizzler to help them tackle handle one of the roughest sea the southern indian ocean they encounter strong and alarming waves during the second day by december 25 they all managed to reach 35000 km east of cape town the family somehow manages to surpass the bad weather and celebrates christmas together the weather changes for the worse and on january 2 the big waves hit them they try to slow the ship down by dropping storm jib and hit a heavy mooring rock in a loop across a stern but it doesn't help much they carry their life raft drill attach life lines don life jackets and oil skins in the next page you will see i have given all the synonyms of these different words so that you can uh, learn the uh, lesson or the summary of the lesson easily later in the evening a vertical and huge wave strikes the ship and the narrator is thrown off from the ship he accepts his approaching death and starts losing consciousness when the ship is about to turns it to right back sorry when the ship is about to overturn a huge wave hit again and turns it to right back he suffers injuries in ribs and mouth he grabs the guard rail and sails into the ship's main boom he instructs his wife mary to guard the wheel as he realizes that the ship has water in the lower parts his crew man starts pumping out the water the narrator goes to his children's cabin and checks on them his daughter shu informs him about a bump 
on her head which he ignores because his major concern is to save the ship the narrator does water proofing on the gaping holes this makes water uh, to deviate on the right side the hand pumps gets blocked due to debris garbage and electric pump gets short circuited however he later finds a spare electric pump and connects it to drain the water they all keep pumping the water all night long their made calls calls that an emergency are not answered as they are in the remotest corner of the world shu on the other hand has now a swollen black eye and deep cut in her arm on being asked by her father about her injuries she tells him she didn't want him to worry as he was trying to save them after 15 hours the situation gets under control the narrator decides to work in rotation and rest the water level are controlled but the leaks were still there below the water line the ship is in bad shape now it is not in a condition to reach australia and so they decide to reach uh, the nearest island isle amsterdam a french scientific base as their sporting engines were also damaged the chances of the ship to reach the destination are low after pumping the water out continuously for 36 hours they took a sigh of relief only a few centimeters of water was left to be pumped out of the boat they hoisted the storm ship as the main mast was destroyed they ate their first meal in two days some corned beef and crackers the weather soon started changing and again the black clouds took over by the morning of january 5 his son Jonathan told him that he didn't fear death as long as they were all together. This filled him with determination to fight the sea. The struggle continued and the narrator tried his best to protect the weakened starboard side. The same evening, the narrator and his wife sat together holding hands, thinking that their end was near. His children continuously spotted him, which gave him moral support to keep going. The wave walker sailed through the storm and made it. The narrator then calculated their exact position by working on the wind speed. While he was in tension, Shu gave him a card that she had made expressing her love and gratitude towards the family. He instructed Larry to steer the course to 185 degrees. He said that if they were lucky, they could have, uh, sorry, they could hope to find an island by 5 p.m. He dozed off and suddenly got up around 6 p.m. He believed that they didn't make it and was disappointed. His son came and informed him about how they reached the Isle Amsterdam island and he called him best daddy and best captain. They reached the island with little struggle and the, with the help of inhabitants. The whole team's struggle and hard work finally saved them. This is the detailed summary of the lesson we are not afraid to die. Now I will tell you the important word meaning which we use in this uh, summary here are a few words the word first 
cheerful, happy. Coast, seashore, sailor, mariner, voyage, excursion, voyagers, commuter, atrocious, horrify, dignatic, enormous, sail, boat, storm jib, require, knots, to control, furry, anger, morning rock, oh, sorry, mooring rock, pastern. Stern, frowing, lash, whip, raft drill, boat, sporting boat, dawn, pull on, starboard, right side of a ship, deck, decorate, auxiliary, additional, hoist, rage, mast, yard, caricature, cartoon, predict, forecast, oil skins, raincoat, and the weather, climate. In the first part, this one, thank you and have a nice day. Hello students, now I will discuss with you people some additional question and answer of the lesson we are not afraid to die if we can all be together. Question first, we are not afraid to die who speaks these words and when? The narrator's son Jonathan, six years old, made this remark when his father went in to comfort the children. But daddy, he went on, we are not afraid of dying if we can all be together, you and mommy, she and I. Question number two, name the voyagers who took the journey by sea, who set sail from England to reach Australia. Answer, it was a small family the parents and their two kids. The narrator was a 37 years old businessman, his wife Mary and their two children, daughter named Shu and son Jonathan. What preparations did the narrator make for the long journey? The narrator wanted to fulfill his dream of sailing around the world like Captain James Cook. He worked on the project for 16 years and spent all his leisure time in mastering the art of navigation. He built his wave walker, a 23 meter long and 20, uh, sorry, and 30 tons heavy boat to complete his voyage. Question number four. When did the adventurous family start their expeditions? How did they fare? How did they fare along the route? The voyagers left the England English shore in July 1976. The expedition was difficult and risky. The narrator knew it. The southern Indian Ocean was known to be very rough and stormy. They faced strong winds for several weeks after leaving Cape Town. On January 2, the boat confronted high sea waves which damaged it. Death seemed certain. It was their hard work and good luck that they survived and reached the small island named I'll Amsterdam. Question number five. What information did Mary give about their problem? Mary was in the lower part of the boat along with the children. The lid on the deck had blown off and Mary reported that the boat was full of water and they were sinking. These are the some, uh, these are some questions with their answer. Now, some questions for your practice at home. I hope definitely uh, this question will help you to learn the lesson comfortably. Question first, how does the author describe wave walker? Question number two, what injuries did the narrator and his daughter suffer when the sea waves tossed them about? Tossed, T-O-S-S-E-D. Question number three, what did the narrator do to repair the damage 
to the death question number 4 how did shu make her father laugh when the situation was almost hopeless and the question number 5 is what good uh, news did john and shu give to their father at 6 pm on january 6 This is the lesson number two from our first book on wealth. Although this is a lengthy lesson, but I hope if you will go through the detailed summary and question answer of this lesson which I give you, definitely that will be helpful for you to learn the lesson. Thank you and have a nice day.